Hey, it's Ted here. I'm in my backyard with another one for you. This one's classic. A uh, guy at work bought this boat and it's a freshwater lake boat. It's in great shape for the age. Um, so let's take a look and see what we got. This is an interesting one and a puzzle even for me. So going to be fun. All right, so here we go. Shows up, dead battery, of course. Putting the charger on it, you know. This is my 1980, I don't know, 88 solar, 30 amp, 150 amp, you know, 50 pound charger that worked great still today. It's got a modern ignition system on this engine. And modern, I mean, it's from the 80s. It has the, you know, the switch box. It has the three coils trigger and the stator under the flywheel uh, they put a new voltage regulator on it you can see all the new parts um, i believe this is a new switch box the only thing that looks original really are the coils and i'm not sure but they may have been replaced you know if i was going all this way i think i would have put spark plug wires on it so we're going to put new spark plug wires on it um, fuel pump I don't think has been changed. All the fuel lines have been changed. Um, he still had the original, it looks like, fuel adapter, the twist grip one. Um, you can just see as we walk around that this has been, you know, not too bad. But here's a couple of things too that I noticed right away. Oops, that's no good. Oops, that's no good. So if memory serves me right, and it's been a little while since I worked on these, you have your shift cable, your throttle cable, uh, your idle stop screw, your pickup timing for idle. That's your maximum spark advance up here. And that looks like that's been maxed all the way out to try and get max power or something out of it. So. We're gonna have to do a full sink and link on this too. Compression's still good, so that's awesome. Hasn't melted the pistons out of it. Other things to look for are these old round rubber mounts. You know, this is what holds the cover on back here, this piece, you can see. And it's got a bad mount here, and the mount on the bottom looks like, yeah, that's separated too, so. It's nothing special, but it just makes the cover wiggle around, so. Okay, so we're starting on the uh, project here of trying to figure out what's going on with this engine. So I've taken this piece off, which is in the front of the carburetor, as it gives me access, better access to the idle mixture screws. I took the two bolts out this way, which pulls the air silencer out of the way. And that gives me access to the carburetors. So what I found was the carburetors were not balanced and that means that they don't close at the same point. So if I move the throttle linkage, then I can make the carburetors open and that's the bottom screw here and the top lever with the actuator. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring it back first to the idle position, just bring it back to its lowest position, no motion on the carburetor. And then I wanna look in the throat of the carburetors and I wanna see if they're closed. So we can see that the top one is closed and now the bottom one, the bottom one was open and I'll show you how to adjust that. So what you have is, so the adjustment for this is the linkage is this shaft that runs up through the carburetor up to the top arm. And you have to balance the bottom carburetor here. So you can see that there's a little play here in that arm. Now. If it's at idle, this arm should be held shut. And there's some play here, and that's not good. So there's something wrong with the spring here. This spring, there's something wrong with it. So I gotta pull this thing back apart and figure out why this little plastic arm, which goes through the throttle shaft, by the way, and it's not being held shut by the top. So the shaft should come down through here 
and that spring should drive that throttle shutter shut. So if I hold it open a little bit, it'll stay open, and it, it can't be like that. So there's something wrong with the spring. So that means I gotta take all of this apart and I gotta look at the spring and see what's wrong in there. So that's the first part of this is why, you know, what's going on here is he, he took the carburetors off, he sent them out, they got rebuilt, he put it back together, but that linkage, there's something wrong with that spring. So I gotta take that all apart and redo it again. All right, so I ended up pulling the carburetors off taking them out and uh, trying to get those out is a bit of a feat and these old engines you got to take brackets off take the choke linkage off here get the whole carburetor assembly off so they're off over here and what I'm trying to figure out I got to order new gaskets for the mounting gaskets and what I'm trying to figure out is um, this mechanism here where when you open them they open the same, but not quite. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference and then when they shut, there's a little play here. So I was thinking this bottom spring on this carburetor is a little messed up. Cause I'm trying to get this one to close with the other one. And it seems fine here on the bench, but when I put it on the engine, there's a little adjustment. In this. So this screw has an adjustment so when you put this back together, and I tried making that adjustment, you slide this back together, and where they made up, there's a slot in them, and there's still, it's just a little bit of play there. And I'm not sure if that's the issue, is that I'm just being overly sensitive, but at idle, these need to close all the way, and then your idle uh, adjustment is to make the carburetors open ever so slightly to adjust your idle speed. So I'm just looking at this right now and I'm saying they about open the same. So I'm going to get new gaskets. I'm going to re-examine this and put it back together. I check this spring. It looks okay. It has tension on it. So I take my fingernail and I see that it's got tension on it. So that's proper. This spring is okay. And this linkage arm is all right. So I'm looking at that. You know, the roller's all right. So I think it's just this adjustment. I got to go back and look at it. But need gaskets. We'll get gaskets, put it back together. All right, we're getting ready to put the carburetors back on. Um, and what I'm going to do is take a little carb cleaner, brake clean, whatever you got. And I'm going to clean up the surface. I know you can't see real well, but I got the bolt hanging here with a gasket and the gaskets have a uh, an adhesive on them. And I want to get as much of this debris off. I already cleaned these off and scraped them off nice. And I want to get a nice clean surface so this will stick on there. So we got those two clean. Here's the gasket and the gasket has an adhesive on one side and it's plain on the other. Okay, so I got one bolt started. I got the surface cleaned. I'm gonna get the other bolt here. And what I want to do is I want to get this lined up, get these bolts just started. Because what I can do now is I can make that gasket stick to the surface nice and square like this. Because it's got adhesive on it, it'll stay and won't fall off when we put everything back together. I'm just gonna press that on there. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom one, and then I'm gonna put some grease on the outside of these gaskets. I'm gonna get some special lube 101 I got. It's a little thicker than regular grease. I'm gonna put this on here. So if you ever have to take the carburetors off, they'll come right off. The grease won't stick to the gasket. Like this time, I tore them off because somebody didn't do this. They didn't know any better. So bolts come out, gasket stays in place. We'll do the second one here. I'm putting the first one in, get it started. I've already cleaned the surface off. Get your second bolt. Get your second bolt started. I got the choke linkage and everything hanging here, kind of in the way, but there we go. I'm gonna have to thread them in far just enough to get that gasket to slide down on there. There we go. 
So now both gas is going to be stuck on there nice. And they won't fall off. And they can stay there indefinitely with grease on them. You can take the carburetors on and off several times if you ever had to. I'm hoping this is the only time I'm ever going to have to do this because this is pretty complex for an old engine. All right, and got the uh, grease on here. Wind it down, down to my second to last tube of this wonderful stuff that was back in the 90s. I don't make it anymore, unfortunately. I wish they'd bring it back. It's got a really nice, thick film. It actually dries a little bit, and it's a little tacky when it's done. Um, it's great for applications like this. So, um, Special Lube 101 just about done. Okay. So if I get these on here, I think I can get that in position. I remember, right? So I got a couple of bolts here. You're supposed to put all of the uh, sundry pieces and parts on here at once, but I'm just going to put the two carburetors in position with a couple of bolts to start to try to get them in there and get everything lined up. Not the best video because of the light, but um, I'll let you see. You take this choke linkage here, and you have to put the first piece on in the top, and then the bottom piece you roll this up and put it on there because you have to put this at an angle so this cord gets out of the way. But once it's installed, I'm just holding it in place. I have the manual choke here, and you can see you can pull the choke up, so that'll do that. And the other one is the manual, the electric choke. That'll engage fully when you engage a solenoid. So that's part of the problem is getting these on there. Now I've got that done. Now I can start putting the front pieces on, which is pretty much just nuts and bolts. Okay, so the torque spec for the four bolts that holds the carburetor on is 110 inch pounds. So I'm going to alternately tighten these up to 50 first. Now this plate has to go on, and that slips in here, and there are four screws that hold that on, Phillips heads. I'm going to use Phillips head screws that hold this on, and the book says tighten securely. Okay, that's that. Can put this bracket back on now. Okay, so we're down to a couple of things here, just the brackets. Tightening these up. So air box is just a few screws are good. I'm gonna check the carburetor linkage now to look inside and make sure those are nice and so this is one of those times even in daylight. I'm gonna flash light. I'm gonna look in these carburetors and see if they're closed all the way. Yep. Alright. Yep, I got them synchronized, that's good. One was open slightly before, and that will definitely make a change in the way it runs.
Alright, so next, we're going to put the rest of the stuff on the front together, and then this screw is loose, which is wrong. This one looks like it might be backed out. This one looks almost bottomed out. And this one's kind of weird with the screws loose. So you can see the, the screws loose for idle and that's no good. So a full sink and link, we've, we've balanced the carburetors. I've readjusted those idle mixture screws. So what I'm gonna do once I get this all hooked up, then we're gonna start it up and we're gonna start with our pickup timing. So and I gotta look in the book and find out what the pickup timing screws. And that's your idle speed uh, where you wanna set your pickup at your idle speed RPM. So there's a timing pointer on the top of the engine over here, and there's some marks. Let's see if I can bring them around. There they are. I don't think there's any mark here for idle. So I gotta look in the book and see what it is, and then I'll Actually, I'll take an indelible magic mark and make a little mark so I can shine my timing light over here and set that pickup so it's at the right RPM. It's obviously backed almost all the way out because it's vibrated so you can see that screw is loose. So when I get this to the point where I want it, I'm going to put a little drop of blue Loctite on here just before I bring this screw down and I lock it. That way it won't back off again if somebody comes in here and starts messing with it.